What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here with some more Tekken news! Woohoo! News is coming out more frequently now, thank goodness. We had a, a very rough time getting new news, like near the end of 2015. That is until Akuma came out, and then Nina, and now we have this. A new trailer for the arcade version of Tekken 7, Fatred, Fatred, Fated Retribution. And it looks really good. Like, we get a better look at the enhanced graphics, all the character customization, the details, the animations, all that. We get a better look at both Akuma and Nina. Um, and thankfully, Akuma isn't overpowered like I was worried he was he would be. I was worried that since he was a guest character, they were going to, like, do a bit too much Street Fighter fan service to make Akuma ridiculously OP. But I can already see some flaws in his character. So it's good to know that he's not, uh, that he's not broken. <laughs> Unlike Jin and Devil Jin, those two look extremely broken. But with Akuma, it looks like his, uh, quite a few of his moves actually have some pretty long startup time and ending lag. So he he looks like a very strong character, but he looks very easy to punish if he messes up. So, yeah, he he's not broken. Jin, on the other hand, oh my gosh. Oh, and by the way, Devil Jin's new rage art, so much better than that. It was. Originally, it was like a copied animation from Soul Calibur, one of the Soul Calibur games, one of the special moves there. Um, but his new Rage Arts is actually much better. <laughs> he like darts across the screen super fast, and, like just hits them repeatedly in the air. It's crazy. I do wish it was a little bit more than that, but we didn't even see the full thing, so there probably is more. What I mean by that is, I mean, he has the devil gene. He should do more than just flying into them. I mean, he should take advantage of the fact that he has the devil gene and he can literally do anything. Like, maybe throw them around with telekinesis and then shoot them with lasers the whole time or something. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, we got to see more Faded Retribution, the enhanced graphics. Uh, at the end, we did see it was coming 2016, obviously. But unfortunately, I couldn't tell the month or the day. If someone could translate that, please do, but I don't think it reveals the month or the day because the, there's numbers right there for 2016, but no more numbers. So obviously the month or the day isn't there, unless it has them as words like April instead of 04 or, or second instead of the number 2. I don't know. But yeah, new Faded Retribution stuff. Get hyped. Link to the trailer is in the description so you can watch it yourself. It's a whole five minutes long. Yay.